Okay, in this video we're looking at friendly numbers, and that means we have two or more numbers, and the proper divisors of each number add them up to get the other number. And let me show you what I mean. So let's say we have 220. Well, let's find the, the proper factors or divisors. That means let's find every factor that goes evenly into 220, but not 220 itself. So for example, 1 times 220 is 220, right? But uh, we don't want to include 220, that's just the number itself, so only 1 will include. 2 and 110, right? 2 times 110 is 220. 4 times 55, that's 220. 5 times 44, right? And we keep going. 10, 22, 11, and 20. Those are all the proper factors of 220. Now if I add all of these up, if I take the sum here, what I get is the number 284, right? You can test that out, add all these up. Well, 284 is friendly to 220 because the proper factors of 284, if we find all of them and add those up, we will get 220. So the proper factors are 1, 2, 4, 71, 142. If you add all those up, right, if you took 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 71, plus 142, we get 220. So since since we added up these proper factors, right, added those up, and we get 220, and we added up these proper factors, we get 284, that means 220 and 284 are friendly to each other. They're friendly numbers. When else does this happen? Well, the next set was discovered by Per de Fermat. I think I'm saying that right. And th those are 17,296 and 18,416. Huge jump from our first two numbers. And we could, we could test this out, we could write this out. I'm not going to do that here, but it would work. And there is a formula to deal with this and the, and the other pairs. And I'll just mention it. So let's say we have A, B, and C. If A equals 3 times 2 to the n minus 1, and B equals 3 times 2 to the n minus 1, minus 1, and c equals 3 squared times 2 to the 2n minus 1, minus 1. Right, what this means is um, let n has to be an integer, so it has to be a positive or negative whole number, and it has to be bigger than, bigger than or equal to 2, so I guess a positive integer. Then that means that all of these numbers will be prime. And if you want to keep going here, we're almost there. 2n to the times ab and 2n to the c will be friendly to each other. Now that's a lot of steps, but basically uh, pick a number n, right? Start with that, and it could be equal to 2 or something greater. Plug it in here, and you'll get two friendly numbers. Let's try it and see what we get, just for fun. So let's say n equals 2. If you plug it in, what does A equal? Well, A would equal 3 times 4, because n is 2, minus 1. That equals 11. B would equal 3 times 2, right? Because 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 to the first power is, is just 2. Minus 1, so that's 6 minus 1, which is 5. And C equals 3 squared, or 9 times 2 to the 2n minus 1. Well, n is 2, so that's equal to 2 times 2 minus 1, which is 3. 2 to the third is 8 minus 1. 9 times 8, 72 minus 1, 71. So now we have everything we need. The first number will be 2 to the n times a times b, and n is 2, so 2 squared times 11 times 5. And that's 4 times 55, which you might recognize from before. That's 220. That's the first number. And the number that's friendly to it will be 2 to the n. It's, it's 2, n is 2 here. Times c, times 71. And that's 4 times 71, or 284. And that's how we find our first pair of, of, of prime numbers. And we can keep generating those uh, by picking other values um, for n. All right.
Hope that you enjoy that.